What's up ladies and gents, Op Soldier here today, and today we are going to talk about something that I briefly mentioned about movement, and I'm just going to quickly show you why characters like Molina do not have to take certain risks or just have better options than slower characters like Katana. So we're going to use Kotal Khan today as a very good example of this. So if I'm Katana here, moving back and forth, right? One of the big problems that players have against Kotal Khan is the fact that his forward 2 reaches really far. Like if you look here, it's a 19 frame forward 2. It's very hard to react to. It does have a decent amount of, um, like you can see him move forward, so it makes it easy to walls block. So for example, if Kotal's here, right, I could walls block and then launch him. Right, and get a full combo. But that opens you up to getting shimmied. So like, you know, Kotal does this. And I, I try to do a stand two or something like that to try to, you know, false block, I can get punished, right? So what are some options for Katana in a situation like this? Well, to be honest with you, Katana can't really move back either. She can't backdash. She can't really get out of the way of this move. You know, even if I delay it, I still get hit. I still have to false block it. What she can do is she can preemptively down four. But the problem is, if you do a down four early, he does forward two and you get hit. So in the end of the day, the Katana player is usually going to do this, right? In this situation, Katana is really locked because she can throw, she could, she could throw a fan. But if she throws a fan at the wrong time, Kotal's going to jump over and punish her. She can't really space the fan out. Well, okay, of course, of course she can now, but like, let me delay it. So like, she can't really space the fan out, right? He could just do a jump jump kick, or a jump and punch in certain ranges. I don't think he could do a jump, oh yeah, he can. So he could do a jump and punch. And that's another thing players need to pay attention to, just kind of brief PSA. Different jump ins change how your character is going to approach a fireball. So if, you know, if you're Kotal here and you do a jump in like this, if you notice it changes his hurt box. See how his feet go in the air, kind of like Katana's jump too? So this allows him to hit people who throw fireballs. So right? Now obviously, you know, a good, a decent Katana player will be able to time their fireballs and change the rhythm like Foxy. Foxy is a good example of this. He changes his rhythm of fireballs, making it harder for Kotal to approach. But the truth is, it's still kind of bad for Katana because if she's sitting here throwing fireballs, look how, look how plus the fireballs are from here. They're minus 10. So Kotal is just going to take his turn back with forward two anyway. So you basically have to time your fireball to where it will hit him out of his forward two and get plus frames. Aside from that, you're not really getting much advantage here. Like, you're going to be minus the whole time, and throwing a Psy is not the answer. So at the end of the day, Katana's going to do this the whole game. And if you've ever seen me play against a Kotal player, you'll notice that this is what I'm doing most of the game. Um, now, obviously, I'm not denying the fact that Flawless Block is a powerful option. I personally think that Flawless Block is the best solution here against Kotal, and so is Katana's Jump 2, because her Jump 2 does give her a fair amount of offense and shimmying power. But let's go ahead and go over to Molina, and Molina will show you why why like movement is so important in fighting games. I cannot stress how important it is in fighting games. Anyway, let's move, move on to Molina. Alright, so guys, let's talk about Molina really quick, and let me go ahead and move I'm over to the right. Okay, so, Molina is special because if I set Kotal to do a 4-2, I'm going to do a delay of 4-2 here. As you can see here, I can straight up just punish him for doing it. And even in certain situations, I've done, like, stand, stand one, yeah. Like, you can, like, literally space out Kotal's movement in this matchup. Now, obviously, people are going to argue, yes, Kotal can wave dash into forward two. I mean, Kotal's always been able to do that. That doesn't change anything. But the fact that he wave dashes means that he's going to get hit by something. So, you know, if he does, like, something like... You know, like, I can just down three, back dash down three. Like, there's so many options I have there. Obviously, I'm not wave dashing the best with Kotal. I can do it a little bit better with Molina. You don't even really need to wave dash with Molina. You could just cancel your dash, and she'll move pretty pretty well far backwards and forwards anyway. You don't really need to know how to wave dash with her. It just improves your neutral. 
But anyway, like, Molina does not have to take as many risks. And yes, she can flawless block, just like Katana can. She gets a little bit less damage, but she can do it. It's an option. And she can even armor break if Kotal tries to break there. I'm gonna show you how much damage she gets if the armor breaks. She's about 331. He might, she might get a little bit more with the actual armor break, but you, you see my point, like, she gets some decent damage for two bars, I guess, I don't know. Um, the only real flaw with Molina, and this has always only been my big, the, these two things have always only been my two biggest complaints. It's the fact that if the Kotal player breaks, Molina only has one bar of offense. So a good Molina player, in my personal opinion, I know not every Molina player does this, And then, oops, let's try it again. So he breaks, and she goes around. Right, so, oops, didn't come out. Oh, it's building, the bar's building up instantly. So, okay, let's try that again. Now, Melina goes to do a combo, Kotal breaks, I'm just gonna assume he breaks there, I'll show you. And then as you can see here, she does no damage for a long period of time, look at this. Still no damage. Look how long it took for her to build bar, so... And then she combos me. And then now, let's say she hits me, still no damage. No one talks about this either. Look at that, look how much, okay, finally, now she can do damage for a bar, right? And just look here, I've already built a bar back in defense. So it's just like, you know, when your, care, when your opponent doesn't have breaker, Molina's doing no damage. The only way that she can stop this from happening is she doesn't amp the first launch. So she she just makes you spend your bar for no reason, right? So like, you know, if you're here and you do this, and then I break my, you know, I break there, then yeah, Molina has two bars to do like 60%. So she has some pretty good strike throw there because you're either gonna get looped while you have no bar of defense to get out of it and you have to respect her meaty, or she'll launch you for, you know, 30% per touch. So it's a little bit of a gamble, and I think this is one of Molina's biggest flaws. I honestly don't think her unsafe strings, we're going to touch on that in a minute. I honestly don't think her unsafe strings is what makes her bad. I think what ultimately makes her really bad is this. It's the fact that she just doesn't get damage after a while. After she hits you twice, she just doesn't get any damage, you know? Um unless you gamble the fact that they're going to break early before they see the amp ball roll. So, um, that's just like, that. I feel like that's like a huge flaw for Molina. Um, but the other flaw, obviously, is that her, all of her safes, or all of her strings are unsafe. So this is unsafe. This can be ducked. This is minus six, so you can forget about it. This is all right, I guess. Because it does do some pushback, so it's really hard to punish, and they have to guess. But the problem is, it, it leads back to the same problem. You spend two bar, you spend a bar, now when you hit them, they're going to break, and if you amplify, you get no damage. So it goes back to the same problem that we were at before. Obviously, this string is pretty good. This string shimmies sometimes, sometimes I've noticed that. You don't have to complete it. You can make it minus six. They'll automatically poke, and then you can reversal throw, or do back one one, or back dash. Because they're either going to... Uh, I've noticed with these strings, this one and this one, no one wants to guess, so they'll try to micro duck, or they'll try to uh, pump block, whatever you want to call it. Duck OS. So I just backdash because it's like, okay, cool. Thank you for giving my turn back. And then I just backdash because it's like they're just micro ducking. Or I even sometimes I'll just keep doing strings because it's like they. I don't know. People don't want to guess in this game. So it's, it's perfect. It's perfect. It helps Molina actually. Same thing with this string. Just backdash. Just don't complete it. 
they're gonna, you know, microduck, just don't complete it. Or when they start blocking to respect this, because you're forcing them to microduck, you just do backdash again, go for a throw, oops. So yeah, that's a huge flaw with Molina. Molina is, this version of her to me is very good at keep away, baiting them to jump and firing and then keeping them away with the Psy. You can bait them to jump and just like, you could literally just like, you could literally just do that. So like, I mean, I'm the Kotal Khan player, block, right? So I, you know, I get him to do that. I don't think he can punish that. That was a trip guard. Oh, that's a punish. What the? Why is it so minus? Anyway. I mean, technically, the Molina player could false walk it. Yeah, that's, that's punishable. <laughs> Why that's punishable, I'll never know, but... Most characters won't be able to punish it though, or they'll get hit like that. And plus, in a situation like this, you're usually yeah they're usually gonna get hit. Yeah. So I don't want that. Yeah, I don't think he can punish. He can't punish it from there. So anyway, long story short, thing you want to keep in mind is that Molina's spacing is really strong. Her zoning is pretty all right. Even with high psi, if you have a life lead, it's all right. I would say. I know a lot of top players that play her still use high psi. I'm very wary after watching Foxy now. Like he's totally convinced me of the low psi stuff because. Even though it's one Psy, it really does force people to jump, which makes Molina really powerful. I guess the last thing I can touch on is Molina's jump-ins are pretty good. Um, you can see here, like, it's not it's not Katana level of jump-in, but it definitely is going to be a lot of stuff, like a lot of low pro profiling stuff like this, right? Oops. There we go. So... Like, you can just, like, straight up hit people, no matter how low they are. You just have to delay it. Delay it off. See. This will not hit. Well, oh, it will hit. Never mind, that's a good option, too. So, yeah, those are all really good options. Um, and obviously her, <coughs> excuse me, her jump kick OS is, like, pretty much everything, like... Right, or you could do. I've seen Hello Larry do that. Kind of bait a anti or er, a breakaway. I think you might even be able to do this. Maybe kind of hard, but oh, you could do something like that. Like, yeah. So Melina has some good options. I think Melina is a good character. I think people really underestimate how good she is. I think in a matchup like this against Kotal and Scorpion, Scorpion's another good example, Katana gets locked the hell down by Scorpion and it's only because like Scorpion forces her to throw fans in unfavorable situations and Molina just doesn't have that problem. Like I can't stress enough how important it is like Molina's movement just prevents her from not having to take risks in the neutral. Yeah, she has to take risks when she finally gets on you. She's a strike throw character. She has to do that. Um, and her strings aren't as... They're not as um, safe as they can be. I do wish that at least this string would have been safe. Like maybe minus six or something. But it's okay. Um, she's still a decent character. And she still has some quite a few mind games off of her. 
you're gonna have to take risk. You're gonna have to use your defensive bar to break. You are gonna get hit in situations where it's not favorable. I do think she loses matchups where characters just get straight up unbreakable damage. Um, like Kotal Totems would probably be way more tricky to deal with. Jackie in, in general would probably be really tricky to deal with just because Jackie gets unbreakable damage. Um, characters with like really strong crushing blows uh, would probably be hard to deal with too. And I just noticed, pretty sure. Is that just Molina? That is Molina, okay. Her legs are just that small. Anyway, I thought there was like a glitch, but yeah, so the last thing I will. I keep saying the last thing. This is actually the last thing I'll touch on. So, Molina is special because I do think that on wake up, Molina players should not use up three or up two at all. I know that's a very controversial take, but your offensive bar needs to be used for damage. There's been so many Molina players I've watched, they just lose out on damage because they never have offensive bar. It needs to be used for damage and it needs to use, be used for amp psi because this is the only way you're going to convince people to not do whatever the heck they want in the neutral. That and movement, right? So, um, since this game doesn't have force, you know, for the same bar, you're going to use defensive meter to roll forward and backward. Those are very strong defensive options and use it to break. And then you're going to use the offensive meter for size and combo potential because she doesn't have a combo. She doesn't have a meter launcher. I don't know why, but she doesn't. So those are the best options. Anyway, I figured I would share all this. Oh yeah, remember, and always remember this too, like if you get a down 2 KB, you just do another down 2. You don't have to spend meter to do more damage. Because like you're only going to get... Dang. Hell Larry might know a better combo, but you're only going to get like, uh, like 4 or 24. So unless it's going to kill, like it might even be better to just cash out on 2 down 2s, you know. Um, another example is, uh, what was I going to show you? And plus that baits out breakaway anyway. Uh, but, uh, what's the other one? Oh yeah, and then, like, don't forget about this either. You can use this as a punish. It's a very good option. If you feel like you haven't been knocked down and you want to do a punish, it's a very good way to do a punish. Save your meter. Because I, I can't stress enough, like, her offensive bar is so important, man. Like, people just break and then, like, you're, you're stuck with no damage. It's so devastating as a player. Like it's so, like people don't understand. Like you, when you touch people in this game, you need to, you need to like make it count. Cause this is a game where you can get robbed off fatal. Like this is a game where you can get robbed off so many things. There's so many players I watch, like they get off KBs early and then wonder where all their damage is. Or like they do launching KBs when your opponent has two bars of defensive meter. Like I see pro players doing this. I don't know why. I don't know why they're doing this. Like. This game is so volatile with how KBs and, and Fatals work, and then like people manage their resources like that. That's like kind of weird. It's kind of whack to me. And it's the same. It's the same with Molina. Like Molina is a very resource demanding character. So anyway, that's all I want to talk about today. Figured I'd share all this. If you guys like this video, definitely leave a like and comment below. I love fighting games, and I love uh, just kind of stud studying the characters I played figuring out how they work. So I'll see you guys later. Have fun playing fighting games. Have a good fight.